Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome back to another video. We've got the 7.10 patch sneak peek preview, and it seems that we're gonna have like a brand new set. Plus, they're gonna advertise a little bit more the raid Call of the Arbiter YouTube series that is coming very, very soon, actually on the 18th of the month, so eight days from now. And yeah, we're gonna go over on YouTube and have a look at this video together, and yeah, just react on whatever they show us from uh, from this video. Ooh, let me close this special update coming down the pipe and we wanted to highlight it with a sneak peek video rather than our usual text highlights we've got raid call of the arbiter premiering very soon with 10 episodes of animated story goodness and we've seen your comments you want more lore and you want it in game well we've been working away in secret for the past six months to give you more ways to find out about your favorite champions if you wanted lore well, you got it as lore is the watchword of update 7.10 first and foremost champion bios are coming to raid in the form of a i never personally really cared about lore um of really any of the games maybe only world of warcraft i actually had a book for from you know the actual lore on the orcs but yeah i mean lore is coming into raid not that exciting, honestly. A new champion lore tab for me, which you can access in the index. Champion I know others might be uh, more excited. Immediately after summoning a champion, not every champion will have a story of their own at first, but we are working hard to ensure that changes going forward. Wait, so lore is only available if you summon a champion? The first batch of champion bios will feature some of the characters that star in Raid Call of the Arbiter, okay. as well as fan favorite legendaries. Our plan is to then add new champion bios and in regular batches. To Pretty gradually cool. populate the world of raid with awesome stories this may take some time and we may not get to everyone a crazy are getting lore 700 champions in game but that's what we hope to achieve it's more than 700 on that note let's talk about wait 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 wait, 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 wait. 700 champions before we may not get to they didn't do they didn't do the lore on armager shame to everyone there are over will be the biggest thing happening to the world of raid since its worldwide release in truth, we didn't expect the lore to expand as it did, and as a result, some of our earlier lore works didn't fit the stories we wanted to tell with Raid. Kyle and so I guess they're changing this that. that early champion stories and stuff like the comics we released for Kyle, Elhain, and Gaelic, for example, don't quite match up with Teleria as it is now. Consider these as Teleria Apocrypha, if you will, or non-canon stories. Anything you see in-game from this point on is the truth. But lore nice. is okay. just the first step in our grand plan. They're, they're making lore cool things planned to integrate for it to be, you know, into Ray. the We're actual events, lore. New champions, special rewards. It's going to be epic. This special button in your bastion is your portal to all things Raid Call of the Arbiter. Cool. Tapping on this will bring up a brand new tab where you can watch each episode of the limited series and share it on social media. Yep. Watching each Love episode it. via this tab and sharing on social media will get you rewards. If an episode reaches a certain number of views on YouTube, everyone gets a reward. Love Each it. episode also has a secret code hidden within, which you can decipher and enter in to earn, you guessed it, more rewards. We'll also be running a seven-day loyalty program where you'll be able Ooh. to... Ooh, new daily login champion, guys. Have a look at this, dude. New daily login champion. It doesn't look like a champion we have already in the game. And from the background, it looks like a barbarian, but I'm not really sure. So we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, daily login champion is going to be gonna be a champion that uses accuracy for sure that's why they're giving out perception which perception is actually a pretty cool reward to give the six star here six star boots maybe if they roll speed and yeah you get the champion on day seven character love it limited series as a champion who will it be as for the rewards themselves, from the limited series one of them this fancy new artifact set it's and a new set righteous and it's a two-piece yeah. set that increases it's like a set for arbiter so it's like a speed and set plus resistance 40 points of resistance Not too right. shabby these righteous artifacts will also be part of a new forge pass dedicated to raid call of the arbiter don't miss your chance to grab as many of these awesome artifacts yeah resistance is nice but you need a lot of resistance now to to actually be able to do anything like you need a ton to fight versus all the accuracy that champions can have now so it's as you yeah. can next up the quality of life improvements we cool set though the last what's next in raid video are coming live with update 7.10 it's been a while though so let's recap First, we're separating multi-battle settings and separating them between game modes and, in a few cases, individual dungeons. Furthermore, right. we'll expand your options for selling artifacts. 
we know everything about this already. I already posted a video on this detailing on how the new gear filtering system actually works and on how to use it. So definitely check out my previous videos, guys, to find out more details about this new, you know, filtering settings for both uh, the dungeons and also your own gear. That your champions farm during multi-battle sessions. When the update goes live, you'll be able to choose which artifacts you want to keep based on their rank, rarity, type, set, specific substats, or any combination of those. Farming has never been easier. Right. Speaking of artifacts, we're also adding the ability to sort artifacts and accessories by stats. You'll have no yeah. trouble finding the gear you need now. And finally, we're going to sort out the fragment summons tab and hide unavailable champions from the list, except those you have fragments for. This will make managing your fragments so much easier. Hey, it's alright. Give us a way to get the fragments. That would be we better. Several awesome new champions to show off. Grazer, yeah. Ogryn fans will be happy to know a brand new legendary is joining their faction. But we also have a couple of fierce elven warriors and a dashing barbarian ruler to even things out. Check out our social media. We'll post the skill tables for these champions separately. And that's it for today. All right. You guys are excited to see pretty the cool of the Arbiter as much as we are. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channels. And stay um, honestly, the biggest thing that I'm excited about this, um, other than maybe the call of the Arbiter, it's going to be like a cool YouTube series, right? It's going to be like five minute episodes or 10 or whatever. So it's something that is nice to have um, while also playing the game and be excited about every week. We're going to be doing like live probably previews of of the uh the call of the arbiter but the the biggest thing in game that's gonna affect every one of us is is the new login champion which i think that will be huge because we got used to these login champions we had so many so far that have been so good um to to say a few ninja is an amazing promotion and great champion uh udk amazing promotion and everybody got this champion Ronda, of course, very strong damage dealer. And again, everybody got this champion through daily logging in. So if we got used to all of these logging in champions, maybe not Alexander, right? Um, we're probably going to have another great one. And I hope it's going to be something that everybody benefits from. But I know the, the whales and the end game players are gonna going to want a champion that affects more PvP. And the newer players are going to want a champion that affects everything except maybe pvp they don't really care about pvp that much they want something to help them push in dungeons in clan bosses in doom tower so i don't know if it's going to be something in the middle or something in you know powerful pve content or powerful in pvp um strictly speaking i mean udk was powerful in both is powerful in both ronda is powerful mostly in pve i'm gonna say pvp she's good but not as powerful as UDK, Ninja is strictly PvE, Alexander is strictly Vault Champion. So there's a lot of difference differences between these champions that we did get. Uh, we, oh yeah, we also had Diliana, which is um, mostly PvE, not amazing though, as Ninja. Um, I can't remember any of the other daily login, like in seven days you get that champion kind of uh, thing, champions, but yeah. I, just gonna have to wait and see it's gonna be at least a week until that starts i'm guessing i'm not sure if it's gonna be more but if what they said is true we're gonna see that champion within the um the actual you know youtube series the call of the arbiter so if we watch that then we might get an idea of what that champion's skills are gonna be and when they make him available it's gonna make things even more interesting and more fun for sure to get that champion this was it for today guys thank you all for watching subscribe i'll see you all in the next one See ya.